I'm gonna apologize in advance if I am messing with my hair a lot because I just cut it last night. <laughs> I cut off like four inches, I think. Still got a bit of a like chopped look, but I do like the length. I'm getting better at doing like layers. Hello, <laughs> I am Miss Mark. I'm kind of out of practice with vlogging. I haven't actually filmed for a vlog, I think since January, like I've done a little bit of filming, but um, I filmed in January, got my new art desk and stuff. And then February, I just kept getting off and on sick. Like it was just, I got a lot of work done, but I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel like I had the mental bandwidth to create all the art I was doing and talk about it. Like, I didn't even want to pick up the camera in February, so. Uh, but we're in March now, we're like halfway through March. Yeah, I felt like getting the camera out and vlogging a little bit. Anyway, I wanted to let you guys know what I've been doing the past month and a half. And I feel like the, the easiest way to do it is just do it project by project. So, um, let's start with Third Prince is the Charm. I released chapter two, just three more episodes. Um, I am writing chapter three and I felt like uh, what I noticed was chapter three is a bit of a repeat. It kind of, in terms of emotion, chapter three of it, um, chapter three kind of goes over the same emotional growth. Um, so I'm kind of taking a step back. I think I can have kind of the same plot, but I'm going to redo it just needs to be sort of like, it needs to have another draft to make sure that it's actually progressing the characters forward. Next up is Sugar Serpent. I did make some headway on that. I kind of share more updates over on Patreon for that project. Um, but I feel like the script is right around the corner. Like I just feel like I've been doing so much outlining and planning and structuring and I just feel like a script is coming, which would be so amazing. So amazing to get an actual finished script. Um, but yeah, more details on that are on more tea, more if you're if you're interested in more details about Sugar Serpent, um, that's a Patreon thing. You can see some of the character designs and uh, character descriptions and concept art and all that. So next up is Dazer and Eleanor. Dazer and Eleanor season four is well underway in terms of production. <laughs> I have six finished episodes, totally 100% finished scheduled on webtoons so uh that season will begin tomorrow i'm so excited dazer and eleanor will have six un uninterrupted weeks of episodes it would be really great if i could make it to episode 10 without an interruption episode 10 is like the midway point of the season 
based on my outline. So it'd be kind of, it'd just be kind of cool to make it halfway through a season with no interruptions. That'd be fun. Uh, but that means like I get four episodes completed in six weeks, which I have no idea if that's doable. I am ready and amped to get some drawing done. I have the script done for the next few episodes, so I can just jump into penciling. Okay, let's get going here. Let's get some work done. All right, there's page one done. Penciling's done. I don't know if I'll film like the next few. <laughs> it's kind of like the same thing over and over again. But I think I'll turn off the camera for a little bit and try and get into a flow. I'm already kind of feeling like I'm in a flow. So uh, yeah, but there's page one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let's see, let's see how much else I get done. Here we go. I just got the notification. Season four, episode one has been updated. <gasps> there it is. All right, you can go read it. Saturday. Mm. My coffee's very hot and my hair is doing whatever it wants. Season four has launched. Feels really amazing. Um, I think when I last checked, there was like 19 comments. Um, all the comments are so, make me so happy. Like people aren't even really reacting to the story very much. Everyone's just like, woo, they're back. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I have three pages left to pencil of episode 4.7, um, but I kind of feel like inking. I haven't inked in a long time. All right. Um, before we get going, you wanna see something cool that I bought? <laughs> I bought this on Amazon. This is just another Pentel pocket brush pen, but with this casing. I already have two of them. I just love them so much. Where are they? So these are all the same kind of pin, just with a different case, so. Hey guys, it's me, Miss Mark, jumping in here with a voiceover to try and fill this giant gap. <laughs> I never know what to do, really, with all of this inking footage because in my mind, since I'm the one who did all this art and spent hours looking at it, it's very boring. <laughs> I think I think it's also kind of satisfying to watch, but I'm just sort of numb to it. Like, I just don't know if it's interesting anymore because I've spent so long looking at it. So here we are. <laughs> um, anyway, a couple things. One, I mentioned being sick back in February and I thought I should just throw out there. It wasn't at all serious. It was just a cold, but uh, my day job is in childcare and it felt like 
every couple of days I would feel better and then immediately catch something from like a different household. <laughs> so I just was perpetually tired and coughing and I did lose my voice for a week or so. Um, so there's that, but also more importantly, we have launched season four of Days of Renton, Eleanor, which feels so extremely amazing. I, I'm still just like feeling the warm and fuzzies, like the idea that, like, I can't believe I'm four seasons into a comic series. I can't believe it. <laughs> I also, I, I can't believe that my audience is still growing. I feel like I have gotten so used to, um, like, just things plateauing. That just happens a lot on social media where you grow a little bit and then it just plateaus. And I feel like Dazer and Eleanor, it, it's had some slow growth, but it's never, like, plateaued. And, uh, like, specifically over on Webtoons, we're up to just over 5,200, I think. 5,200 subscribers. <laughs> It's just kind of unreal, and I'm really, I don't know, there's just something about this, especially when I'm just launching a new season, um, that I'm just really grateful that, you know, we have something like the internet so that I can produce a work, I can share it with you guys, you guys can check it out and enjoy it, um, and I'm glad I can do it for <laughs> almost for free. <laughs> just, you know, the cost of paper and ink and an iPad and a computer and all that stuff. You know, no big deal. No big deal. Um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to mention those two things. Like one, I wasn't that sick in February. And two, I'm very grateful for your support. And I'm so glad that I have the amazing privilege of uh, getting to draw art for you guys. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you have made it this far, let me know what you think about all this inking footage. Is it too much? Is the voiceover annoying? Should I just stick to music or just have less inking? Let me let me know your professional YouTube viewer opinion on the matter. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>the ink and quality of these two pages. Sometimes an episode just has a good vibe. These have a good vibe. I like them. I'm probably honestly going to keep inking, but I don't, I don't think I need to keep filming. <laughs> you guys get the gist of it. Um, yeah. I think that's it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for everyone who read and commented on season, the, the opening of season four over on my webcomic. I'm so excited about this season, um, where it's going to take the characters and where it's going to take the story. So um, thank you for being with me on this journey, for hanging out with me today in this video. Um, don't forget to click the like button. Um, and if you're interested in supporting me, you can check out my Patreon. And uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully won't be too terribly long from now. So, goodbye!